So there we go. Today, National Toothache Day. You are students, you are dentists on campus, take advantage, don't lose your teeth, you know, don't get gingivitis. It rots your breath, it rots your gut, it can make your teeth fall out, and according to my grandmother, because it happened to her, it'll also make you go deaf. Because if your teeth rot enough, they go back up and the infection gets into your eardrums and you're deaf. So hike your little butts over to your dentist on make an appointment on National Tuesday Day. There you go. It is my incredible pleasure, privilege, and honor to introduce to you Professor Christine Sutherland, Professor Emerita of uh, the University of Calgary, Department of Communication and Culture, Faculty of Arts. Uh, Christine was actually one of the founding members of the now deceased, God rest its soul, Faculty of General Studies, Faculty of Communication and Culture. She was also one of the uh, early uh, lecturers in General Studies 300 when it first got started under uh, Mr. Wyatt? Bob Wyatt. Bob Wyatt. Uh, Dr. Bob Wyatt. And so she's uh, got lots of familiarity with General Studies 300, lots of familiarity with communication culture programs. She was my um, master's thesis advisor and somehow managed to survive that um, despite many trials and tribulations. Um, he introduced me to her wonderful cookies and her gorgeous cat. Um, so we've, we've had a, a long association. Uh, Christine is not only a, a colleague, but a very dear friend. An excellent lecturer, a world-renowned scholar in the field of rhetoric, and uh, loves, as she put it yesterday when we were talking, wallowing about in habit. So uh, I introduce her to you with great joy and uh, great pride. Remember the other day when we were talking about Elizabeth I, and I was talking about how she seemed to, to behave in, in, in sort of a gender opposite ways, right? You can really get a sense of that, the idea that the man was supposed to be vengeful, forceful, I will take your head off on, and the woman was supposed to be gentle and forgiving. And Elizabeth could be that when it didn't mess up political things, but she had no problem lopping off the head of her favorite, the Earl of Essex. She had no problem, um, well, I'm not going to say she had no problem because regicide was a challenge when she had Mary Queen of Scots beheaded. And she knew that that was, that was absolutely huge, but she had to protect England. So she was actually willing to do something that fit more within the masculine role, right? That was coming from that, that very socially constructed gender masculine, um, where if we look back at uh, some of the early um, uh, queens of England and the early uh, warriors, there are females who face down the Roman army, um, ferocious females. So the Renaissance made Elizabeth uh, sort of a challenge. So the idea that this is sort of put there, we've got that gendered forgiveness, the gendered revenge in Hamlet as the queen is dying, is a really uh, sort of interesting um, cultural timepiece, I think, for us. Um, I'm working on your papers, and so is uh, Professor Bryce. But please remember these are rewrites and I've got other stuff that's got priority. So we will get them back to you in the drips and drafts as we get them done, okay? Um, have a good weekend. Be safe out there, okay? I'll see you next week.